Hi everybody, my name is Becky Fiddler. I'm here to give you a short, quick video today of the superficial muscle functions, and that's going to be of the bicep brachii. So the biceps are divided up into two different muscles. There's a long head and a short head. The long head starts off, or the origin, it starts off at the shoulder joint. Okay, we're looking at the superglenoid tubercle. And that is on the scapula above the superior lip of the glenoid fossa. Okay, and then it connects all the way down to and past um, the elbow joint. Okay, so start up here and then it comes all the way down past the elbow joint and connects to the radial tuberosity. The short head, however, starts off at the caracoid process. Of the, on the scapula and also attaches, this is also the origin, attaches also to the um, superior lip of the glenoid fossa and then runs the whole way down to the bicipital aponeurosis which again is like a connective tissue. So I just went over the origin and the insertion of the long hand and the short head of the bicep brachii. Now we're going to go over the functions and quick uh, exercise for you. Okay, the, um, the functions of the biceps is pretty much simple. You have flexion at the elbow joint, okay, and you also have supination of the forearm. Okay, it is also a weak shoulder flexor, so that would be bringing the arm up, so it's a weak shoulder flexor, and it is a weak shoulder abductor when in external rotation. So if your arm is in external rotation, which is basically turn your hand out, it is a weak shoulder abductor. Okay, so for exercises for the biceps, you're looking at your basic curl. Okay, if you want to get full exercise on that muscle, you can easily supinate that bicep, start off with hands at the sides, and then rotate palms up. Okay, again, palms up, turn to the side, palms up. Okay, you guys, sorry this video was so quick and short, but I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Please stay tuned for more videos.